the vice president and the people. Now, President Trump Town Hall. Welcome to our town hall with Joe Biden. Mr. Vice President, welcome to you. Good to be with you. Welcome, Mr. President, and thank you for being here. That was very well stated, I have to say. Good job. Do you have any remaining symptoms from COVID? Nothing whatsoever. I'm great. I feel good. And you don't know if you took a test the day of the debate? Uh, uh, Possibly I did. Possibly I didn't. We're in a situation where we have 210 plus thousand people dead. And what's he doing? Nothing. He's still not wearing masks and so on. And something happened. But as far as the mask is concerned, I'm good with masks. I'm okay with masks. I tell people wear masks. But just the other day, they came out with a statement that 85% of the people that wear masks catch it. Well, so, you know, this is a very that. I know tricky, that study. Well, that's, 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 a- that's what I heard and that's what I saw. And when a president doesn't wear a mask or makes fun of folks like me when I was wearing a mask for a long time, then, as you know, people say, well, it mustn't be that important. If a vaccine were approved, would you take it? Would you mandate that everyone has to take it? Yes, I would take it. I'd encourage people to take it. We should be thinking about making it mandatory. How could you enforce that? Well, you couldn't. That's the problem. Just like you can't afford, you can't enforce measles. You can't. Why does it seem like I denounced white supremacy? Okay, you did I two denounced days later. white supremacy for years. You didn't ask Joe Biden whether or not he denounces Antifa. And frankly, you want to know something? I denounce Antifa. Oh, we're denouncing. Let me ask you about QAnon. It is this theory that. Uh, Democrats are a satanic pedophile ring and that you are the savior of that. I know nothing about QAnon. I just told you. I know very little. You told me, but what you tell me doesn't necessarily make it fact. Just this week, you retweeted to your 87 million followers a conspiracy theory. That was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't take a position. You're not like someone's crazy uncle who can just retweet whatever. If you lose, what will that say to you about where America is today? I hope that it doesn't say that we are as racially, ethnically, and religiously at odds with one another as it appears the president wants us to be. They're talking about ballots that are corrupt, that are fraudulent. And your own FBI director says there is no evidence of widespread oh, really? fraud. Well, then he's not doing a very good job. What do you say to those Americans to maybe tell them why you want the corporate tax rate lower and why that helps them? It's a great question. We've created more jobs than this country has ever created. And if Biden comes in and raises taxes on everybody, and you'll end up with a depression the likes of which you've never had. He talks about a V-shaped recovery. It's a K-shaped recovery. If you're on the top, you're going to do very well. If you're in the middle or the bottom, your income is coming down. The Trump administration has attacked the rights of transgender people. How will you, as president, reverse this dangerous and discriminatory agenda? I will flat out just change the law. There should be zero discrimination. We've done more for the African American community than any president with the exception of Abraham Lincoln. We shouldn't be defunding cops. We should be mandating the things that we should be doing within police departments and make sure there's total transparency.